Hey guys, this is a couple of uh, black powder rifles I picked up the other day. These are both Harrington and Richardson top brake models. Uh, they're basically handy rifles, but they're muzzle loaders. Uh, and they're the they're actually uh, Harrington and Richardson calls them a Huntsman model, and uh, they still make these today. They make them in a 50 caliber with a 209 shotgun primer ignition. Uh, these two, however, were made in the early 70s, I believe they were manufactured in 1971. And the one on top is a 58 caliber. Uh, has a 28 inch barrel and about a 1 in 65 or 1 in 66 twist rate. It's made for patch ball. The one on the bottom is a 45 caliber. It also has a 28 inch barrel. Uh, but that one I think is a 1 in 28 or a 1 in 24 twist. It's a lot faster. Uh, made for probably conicals, but still shoot patch ball out of them. Uh, I haven't shot either one of them yet. They're kind of interesting rifles. These uh, probably were some of the earliest production inline rifles that were made. And by the mid 80s, uh, inline rifles were fairly common. Uh, Knight, uh, different manufacturers were making them by then. But these were pretty early. And it has a very early breech loading design, breech plug design actually. It's a little bit odd. Now you can see here with the breech open on the 45 caliber, uh, you can see the breech plug in there. When I first got the gun, I thought, well, maybe that's pressed in there or screwed in there somehow. But it turns out it's not. This has a pop-out breech plug. It has a little O-ring in there that holds that thing in, and that's all that keeps the breech plug inside the gun. There you go that's it stainless steel got your percussion nipple inside but that's all that keeps the gas from coming out the back of the gun so the breech has to be closed and in fact I've read some kind of scuttlebutt on the forums about this breech plug system and what people have said is that at some point when they made these rifles uh, the guy had a hang fire and he opened the breech too soon and the breech plug came out and killed him which I haven't been able to find any documentation to corroborate that but but well it is possible I mean if you look at the system it's clearly possible that if you had a bad hang fire and you opened it too soon it would definitely come out of the gun uh, now the 58 caliber has the same breech plug system but it's bigger and the breech plug won't physically come out of the gun without taking the fore end off and this is a 58 caliber and you can see what I'm talking about uh, the breech plug when you try to pull it out by just opening the breech it comes in contact with the breech face itself so this one potentially a little bit safer than the other one maybe and those of you who are familiar with the handy rifle one of the uh, attractive features of the gun is that you can actually put different barrels on the actions and change the caliber of the gun in just a few seconds However, uh, even if I could get barrels to go on this particular one, the action isn't going to work because the firing pin is round. It's made to shoot a, uh, a percussion cap rather than a center fire rifle, so this will remain forever a black powder gun. And you can see that these rifles also come with a ramrod up underneath the barrel, um, and they, they kind of unscrew, and they slide up in there. Uh, the rifle on top is actually a cartridge rifle. That's a 44 mag. Uh, I think it's called a Shikiri model. It's a 155. Uh, again, an early rifle made probably back in the 70s. And you can see it too has the uh, ramrod. Actually, on that one, it's a cleaning rod, not a ramrod. Um, but one of the things I've noticed with that 44 is that when I fire it, that dang thing slides out. It wiggles out of the uh, barrel. And so generally when I fire it, I take the, the rod out completely when I fire it. And that may be the case with these muzzle loaders too. Uh, like I say, I haven't tried them yet, but looking forward, I get some time to go out to the range, uh, see how these things perform. Any questions, just leave them in the comment section.